welcome back or to the channel. There are only three days left, three days left guys. Today, Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday is the last day for the Tahoe giveaway. Your boy has done something unprecedented for you guys to give you the best opportunity to take this home. 25 times entries are now live. You heard me right. We took it and sent it to the moon. 25 times entries are live. Every $1 you spend is 25 entries to take home the Tahoe. This is your best chance ever and it's happening right now. Guys, this Tahoe has been an incredible beast for me over I think almost the past half year. This thing is incredible, does everything we need it to do. It looks mad sharp, uh, especially in the rain here. I don't know, there, we, I've been filming a lot of these in the rain and it looks good in the rain with those rock lights and off this crystal red paint. Um, this thing looks absolutely incredible. Pretty much a custom seven and a half inch BDS lift, 22 by 12 TAS off-road wheels, 35 15 50 Fury Country Hunter MTs, custom Alpha Rex headlights, custom grill, custom bow tie we painted. We swapped all the black badges, obviously Fox shocks, and in the rear we converted it to an Escalade, which I think works so well off this red paint. But like I said, guys, 25 times entries are live for you to take this home. Don't miss out. You really never know. This hat, a hoodie, you can end up with this in your driveway. My Tahoe, your driveway. Look at this thing. It's an absolute beast coming down the road. And just all in general, this is an incredible, incredible machine. And on top of that, guys, amp research power steps guys full leather we swapped all the belts out to red to match our paint looks super sharp and don't forget here guys we took the whole trunk well the 12 inches we had in the trunk we put a 12 inch sub four marine speakers this thing is absolutely nuts custom powder coated mount and all this is an absolutely incredible incredible opportunity for you guys to take this thing home 25 times entries are live. Take this thing home. I can't wait to give you guys the keys and give you guys the enjoyment and just experience this thing has for me. Well, well, well. The reason you clicked on this video, yes, that is right. We'll give you an update on the banana ram in this video as well. You guys thought I was crazy before. I think I might be nuts. <laughs> Guys, here is the new build, the new truck on the channel, and some of you are looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> you just bought a banana ram, why on earth did you buy a Ram 1500 diesel Longhorn? This thing is beautiful, looks untouched inside, we'll get into that in a second, it is pouring today. If you guys remember, or you're a longtime follower of this channel, my buddy brought me this truck a long time ago. Let's just say some things under the hood needed uh, attention. Exhaust may have needed some attention. And he came to me saying, hey, I want to sell the truck. Do you know anybody who wants it? This guy. <laughs> so we'll get into the new build on the channel in one second here. I, it's pouring today. It sucks. The first mod for this truck is actually already in the truck. I really didn't have any place else to put it. But as for the banana ram here, we have a lot of stuff inside that is just going to blow your mind let me show you this well as you guys know here are our cali off-road wheels a lot of you ended up liking these brushed wheels just like me um i think we're gonna end up keeping these we should be for the banana ram however look at this look at well first of all katie's bumper but look at everything that showed up for the banana ram we have so many goodies we're gonna crack into in the next video that's obviously not what this video is for third brake light license plate lights our sealer for our um, detonator yellow paint so we could get to painting bumper bumper what is this oh these are the tail lights. We'll get into those in another video. Um, I'll talk about those. But our Alpha Rex headlights are here. We have our grill back there. So pretty much the whole banana ram has showed up. It's here chilling. Our lift kit, I, that's done and it's getting uh, fabbed up right now. So that'll be awesome. And obviously our wheels. So pretty much almost the whole build is here. We got a lot of stuff coming from uh, Banks Power and some other companies as well. Those will fill in as our build goes on here. So that all won't happen at once, but look at all this. It's gonna get nutty really quick here. 
We're packing all your orders for the Tahoe right now. Katie's downstairs, little by little, which is so appreciated. But like I said, guys, it's literally Katie and I. So we're packing, we're shipping, we're doing it all. Um, <clears throat> we actually have a guy right now, some of the new hoodies on the site, we have a guy right now printing them and shipping them for us. So people who pr place recent orders, unfortunately, um, will be getting things faster than the people who ordered some the stuff we had in stock. So all the stuff is coming. I'm trying to get it shipped out as fast as possible. I would like to get everything shipped out before Thanksgiving, but this week is crazy. We're trying to keep up with it, but literally life is just... If anyone in Northeast Ohio <laughs> owns or has a shop for rent. Now this is this is a, a temporary in between my big plan um, situation, but we kinda need a shop a lot sooner than we thought. And I'll tell you guys more about that in the future of why, but we're gonna need a shop a lot sooner than we thought. And it, it has everything to do with just for us to be us and for us to get out, you know, these videos to you guys and for us to like build awesome and crazy things, we need it. And especially look at what we're dealing with. Katie's truck's in pieces right now. We just got the doors painted. We're actually gonna, right after this video, gonna drive to Columbus, pick them up, do a bunch of other stuff as well. But for us to be us and to make builds the best we possibly can. If anyone in Northeast Ohio area has uh, shops for rent or whatever, please DM me, email me, and we can figure something out. The star of the show, 2014 Ram, as you can see, 1500 Eco Diesel. Yes, this is a diesel 1500. Um, I'll fire it up for you guys. First of all, look at this interior. 2014 looks hardly sad, and the seats are in beautiful, beautiful condition. You come in here, <laughs> oh baby, the wood grain steering wheel. We'll start it up, push button. Ooh, buddy. So, obviously, your typical Longhorn gig here. <laughs> this thing is absolutely just stunning for a truck. Um, previous owner, literally, the interior is so good. Always had the sunshade up. Didn't let anything really affect this. Windows are tinted. This thing is a beast. This truck does have the auto air suspension, heated seats, cooled seats, heated wheel, uh, cooled and heated on the other side as well. It is a 1500, so it's got the goofy knob, but we're not worried about that because this truck is super fun. So, come back here. Mmm. Nice and quiet, but she smells really good. Now, obviously, you guys are looking at me all crazy, like a black truck. What on earth are you doing? Well, this is the part of <laughs> the video where I'm gonna ask you, what color should we swap this truck to? Obviously, you guys know it doesn't fit the bill here. What color should we make this truck? Keep the Longhorn in mind. So I have one super neat idea for this truck color-wise. I think it'll turn out super just sleek. Something also came with this truck. Not here right now. Something came with this truck. <laughs> Let's just say something came with this truck that kind of attaches right here. <laughs> and you guys very well may see that in the future, but for right now, I'm gonna keep that a secret uh, because it, ca it literally came with the truck and um, I'll have to keep you guys just like on, on the edge with that one. But while we're at it, before we take her for a spin, let's pop the hood. <clears throat> Point oh liter eco diesel. She looks really good. <laughs> really good in there. But the fact that I worked on this truck a long time ago, I know the owner, it was just too good to pass up. <laughs> Way too good to pass up. Like I said, the color really doesn't do it for me, nor Katie as you can see. Let's just get into the, the small things of this build really quick here. The steps gotta go, the colors gotta go. Yeah, these actually got some nice tires on it, the Longhorn wheels, these are beautiful wheels. Let me tell you that, nice set of Ridge Grapplers on here, just stock 275, 60, R20s. Um, nothing too fancy, it looks super good. And aggressive stock, uh, suspension wise, won't go too crazy with it because of what came with the truck. That's a big decision, because that's what the, this truck kind of was used for, so don't, uh, I want to tell you guys, but I'm going to keep you on edge for a second and see if we can bring it onto the channel sooner than later. Oh, another thing, proximity entry on this. Obviously, chrome handles and such. Key fob has left the vehicle. Only has 97,000 miles on it, and it is in 
perfect condition dash look at this every single seat this truck literally looks like no one ever even was in it <laughs> so like I said we couldn't pass this up if you're looking at the dash here you kind of can tell what's already been done to it let's take her for a spin oh my goodness this wheel is heated and the wood heats up <laughs> oh baby oh what I could tell you guys is, um, well, the first mod's in the trunk, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. With what's done to it, I think there's a pedal commander on this thing, too, if I remember correctly. But I think I put a pedal commander on this thing, but oh my goodness, this thing scoots. I would love to get on it right now, but what's in the bed is kind of... Um, important so I don't want to go too crazy with it just yet <laughs> but the air suspension not gonna lie this thing rides great super smooth I'll show you guys the like the auto level feature in a second when we get back but I, literally I could not pass this thing up this thing it's <laughs> this truck is going to be freaking sick when we're done with it I couldn't pass it up we can make it simple we can make it clean this is like like I said luxurious truck here <laughs> literally longhorn fully loaded diesel 1500 but this thing is just so freaking comfortable and just amazing um i could literally could not pass it up and i think we can make this really clean really quickly and i'm gonna show you guys that not to mention same thing like my ram power sliding rear window <laughs> mother trucker's got a sunroof so guys the first mod is actually right here We've got a set of Power Stop Extreme Performance Brakes for this truck. New clips, ceramic pads, and rotors. Boom, baby, look at that. Ceramic pads. Oh, this thing is gonna be nuts. So this is pretty much the first truck I have that actually needs the brakes. <laughs> We're upgrading it with an amazing Power Stop brake system for this ram so first mod is also here second mod we got some work to do you see it i guess before we get too far let me give you a few revs so as you can see and hear she sounds pretty darn good already i'm so sorry guys it is raining today i want to be out there but it's just like or it may just have to throw in a muffler delete. I honestly am tempted to take this interior and stick it in banana ram. It looks so good, but it's a Longhorn truck. We gotta leave the Longhorn interior in it. <laughs> Can't be taking that out. So let me know what color you guys want me to swap this to. Let me know what else you guys wanna see on this. Obviously running boards are going. We're gonna go fancy with that. I do, I mean, unless you guys for some reason like the chrome on this, I was planning on ditching it. Um, when we do the color swap, things like that grill and the chrome bumper, easily getting rid of. Um, mirrors, not too hard to get rid of. Then the handles are my only thing because they have the, uh, the proximity sensors in there. Those might be expensive and I don't want to wrap it or anything. Like get rid of the chrome and it messes up the proximity sensor, the proximity entry or anything. So uh, we may leave the handles chrome. So maybe a touch of chrome, but I don't know. Let me like, please just let me know what you guys are thinking on this truck. But I think it's an awesome addition to the family here. I, don't, I wish this was a 3500 sometimes because then I could be like, oh, 3500, 2500, 1500. Um, but either or. That's an amazing truck. This is an amazing truck. And this is an amazing, luxurious, just ride. <laughs> and what came attached to it? It's just perfect. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Little Bear. I forget the last one, but yeah, it'll be the perfect three-piece setup. Oh, I'm gonna set you up for a second, have a little conversation with you guys. This is a whole can't stop, won't stop thing. You guys inspire me daily um, when I post videos. Um, honestly and even days after 
I post a video, go on there, read the comments. Um, I tried to acknowledge your comments as much as I can because I do read them, but you guys overwhelm me and I appreciate all that support. Life right now is moving a thousand miles an hour and this makes it move 2,000 miles an hour. But it's one of those opportunities in life where you almost can't pass it up. You just can't. And now we have three Rams, <laughs> three diesel Rams. Look at me. I never thought in a million years I'd have three diesel Rams in the driveway at the same time. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful Longhorn. If I want to pull up in a truck, even like this, the perfect weekend, a road tripper have you. You get your diesel, you get your horsepower, this thing is tuned. It gets up and goes, it scoots, it tows, it hauls the air suspension. Oh, I gotta show you guys that. Hold on, let me do that. Double tap. The truck should. Yeah. Right. Yep, drop down. Let's start her up here. And then let's go up with it. Yeah, there we go. It moves like independently front and rear, but look at that. The possibilities are endless. Welcome to Eco Diesel to the channel. Um, <laughs> This is nuts, guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Slam the comments down below, please. <laughs> please slam them, because black is not my taste. What do you guys want to see? What color you want to see? I have one in mind, but if someone else sparks my attention, we can make it happen. This is going to be a fun one, just like the banana ram. As you guys see, we've got so many parts here for the banana ram. We've got parts here for the eco diesel. At the moment, we are so overpacked with banana ram stuff. You'll probably be seeing two videos to one um, truck-wise on this, which is I'm thinking that your guys are. All, <laughs> I'm thinking you guys are cool with it uh, because we got lots of stuff to do to two trucks now, and um, it's our time to shine, guys. It is our time to shine. If you guys are excited for the Eco Diesel, shoot it a thumbs up. If you guys are excited for the Banana Ram, shoot it another thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me your guys' thoughts, opinions, what you want to see on the Eco Diesel here. What are you gonna do, guys? Diesel might be life, <laughs> but at the same time, I, my hobby, guys, I, this is my favorite hobby, is to modify and make your vehicle art. It literally is. I, I can't, I can't express it enough. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know your opinions on the Eco Diesel and everything else going on. As you guys can see, we got a lot of stuff coming for the Banana Ram. We're gonna have a lot of stuff coming for the Eco Diesel. It's gonna get crazy here. We're looking for a shop. Thank you guys for your support. I am so stoked to bring you guys two builds in one sitting. If you haven't been here before, please get down and click subscribe. Shoot this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Click that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on any uploads featuring our Eco Diesel or our Banana Ram. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. We're doing it big, guys. See you guys next time.